Hey, this is Doug, you're locked into Fifth Wall TV. Thank you very much for joining me here. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single minute of these videos. In this episode, we travel the world together looking at some of the best art projects happening right now. We're gonna kick things off in Italy. Let's go. Every two years, the tourist trap that is Venice becomes a hot spot for contemporary art. That is the Venice Biennale. This year has been nothing short of an absolute spectacle of visual treats. Damien Hirst's controversy aside, one of the most captivating pieces comes from the Italian artist Lorenzo Quinn with his installation support. Quinn said via Instagram that he wants to speak to people in a clear, simple and direct way through the innocent hands of a child and it evokes a powerful message which is that united we can make a stand to curb the climate change that affects us all. We must all collectively think how we can protect our planet and by doing that we can protect our national heritage sites. Like any piece of powerful arresting art, it does all the talking for itself so you don't really need me to over embellish or harp on about anything. But what I really do enjoy from this is the fact that the platform of the Venice Biennale is being used to talk about and open up conversation on much wider issues. Sticking with climate change, let's take a look at the latest project by Malaysian-based artist Ernest Zakharovich, who has once again shown the world exactly how to do it. Splash and Burn draws attention to the devastating impact the palm oil industry is having on the world, with particular focus on the Indonesian island of Sumatra and its surrounding regions. Each year, palm oil plantations destroy millions of acres of forested land, create billions of tons of carbon pollution, and kill endangered wildlife. All of this makes the palm oil industry one of the worst environmental offenders on the planet. Splash and Burn is a play on slash and burn, which is a term used to describe a cheap method that farmers apply to clear land for palm oil production. The project itself was triggered in 2015 after an incident saw the devastation of thousands of acres of land during which the toxicity levels of the air had just reached astronomical levels and this wasn't just in the island of Sumatra, it was felt regional wide. For the project itself, he invited interventionalists and like-minded artists to come and engage with the area. Mark Jenkins, Isaac Cordell, Axel Void, Pixel Pancho all played a part. So he was showing not only quite an astute curatorial eye, but also engaging in a project that could have really quite a significant beneficial impact to the area. If you want to know more about the palm oil industry itself or what you can do to help this project, then I'll put some links in the description below. This month, Italian architect Carlo Ratti unveiled cutting-edge technology that sees drones armed with cans of spray paint carry out predetermined routes, essentially transforming walls into giant paint-by-numbers operated through an iPad. This marks a landmark step in the relationship that drone technology has with public art and has got people talking about where this fits into the scene itself. For anyone that's visited an area like Wynwood in Miami, you'll know there's no shortage of shortcuts being taken. Whether it's projectors or overworked and underpaid assistants, maybe this just marks the next stage in evolution of flat packed muralism. For me personally, you can bring as many toys as you want to this party, but there's no substitute for the real thing. And finally, if you're watching this video from the UK, this is a reminder to let you know that you have until 11.59pm on the 22nd of May to register to vote. And I'm particularly aiming this at those aged between 18 and 25 because it turns out you guys are sleeping on this whole democracy thing. There are literally people around the world who are giving up their lives to fight for the right that you have handed to you at birth and it is up to you to exercise that. If you've never voted before, I cannot stress how important it is that you get involved in this. The UK itself has an incredibly high percentage of people aged over 60 and every single one of them votes. This means when politicians are deciding policy, they will target it towards the voters. If you don't vote, they don't have a need to target policy for you. This means it's 
it's the older generations that are shaping your future. For example, if we take a look at Brexit, the vast majority of people aged under 30 voted to remain. But because the older generation voted to leave and not enough of the younger generation were voting, we know the result of that. You have until the 8th of June to decide who you're going to vote for, but in order to participate, you need to be registered and you need to do that by the end of play, Monday the 22nd of May. My name's Doug, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. At the end of the month, I will be visiting the town of Bethlehem in Palestine to visit the Waldorf Hotel. Definitely going to be one to watch. I'll be with you guys soon.